Continuing our series of uh, books on leadership, I want to recommend one I really love, The Desert Fox by Desmond Young. Now, The Desert Fox was Field Marshal Erwin Rommel, the, probably the greatest fighting general of World War II on any side, who commanded the 7th Panzer Division in Europe, in France, and the Africa Corps in North Africa against the British and against Patton. And uh, this is a biography of him. And here's a, a, a story of Rommel. Rommel was really from the old school, old school of German generals who came kind of before the rise of Nazism. And in, uh, in an event in the North African desert, a uh, detachment of Germans had surrounded a British detachment and captured their commanding officer. And the German officer in charge was had to hold a, held a pistol to his head and demanded him to command his detachment to surrender. And the British officer was telling him to go to hell. And it was like a real standoff situation. All of a sudden, Rommel appeared, the field marshal, the overall commander. It was part of his style of leadership that he led from the front and he was up there everywhere. And he came up, he said, what the hell's going on here? And the German officer says, I'm gonna kill this guy unless he makes orders his men to surrender. So Rommel says, absolutely not. That runs counter to the, to the principles of honorable warfare. And he forbade the, general, the German officer to do that. He said, find another way. Then he took this young British officer aside and shared a drink with him from his own canteen and they talked for a while. And that officer became Desmond Young. And after the war, he was the guy who wrote this book, The Desert Fox. Now, one final story about Rommel is he was not, towards the end of the war, when Germany knew they were going to lose, the Russians were closing in from the east and the Allies were closing in from the west, the conspirators who were trying to assassinate Hitler, Rommel was not part of the conspiracy, but he did agree that if they succeeded in killing Hitler, that he would step in as head of state to negotiate with the Allies to try to preserve whatever was left of Germany. Now, of course, the assassination attempt failed and Rommel's name became exposed. Two German generals appeared at Rommel's house in Germany one day and they took him for a little ride. And they told him what the situation was and they gave him a choice. Either take your own life or we'll put you through the whole spectacle of a trial before a Nazi court. Your family will be ruined, etc., etc. So the two generals took in their staff car they took Rommel out into the woods, parked the car, and they left him alone for five minutes with a cyanide capsule. And when they came back, Rommel had taken the pill and he was dead. And a cover story was put out that Rommel had been killed in an Allied air attack. And, uh, but he was a throwback, an incredible throwback to the days of pre-National Socialism Warfare. So this is a wonderful book by Desmond Young, who became a Brigadier General, The Desert Fox of the Life of Field Marshal Erwin Rommel.